So you want to have a blog, but you're nervous, you're scared, you don't know if your blog will actually become successful. You see so many people that have blogs now, fashion blogs, and you don't feel like your blog is going to stand out against them. Well, I have some tips for you ladies that want to create your own blog, fashion blog of course, and um, I'm going to give you guys some tips that has helped me with my blog. And um, I get a lot of questions about how did you get um, your blog started, do you have any tips? And I do provide a little bit of tips on my blog, but you guys still ask me more questions about it. So I feel like maybe I should give you guys little details, little tips to help you guys start off your blog. Or if you are a blogger and you need help with um, you know, creating more of a successful blog, definitely check out my video. Okay guys, so I have been blogging since 2010. Initially when I started blogging, I had no idea this is going to be such a big deal. I kind of just did it because I wanted to just, you know, take photos of my outfit. You know, if I'm going out with my friends, I would get a lot of compliments and I felt like, you know what, why, why not make a blog? Why not show people my outfits? I didn't know that people were going to focus on me as much as I thought. I kind of just did it for fun. It was a hobby of mine. I didn't really take it seriously in the beginning. I was gaining a lot of followers. I didn't know exactly what I was trying to do. It was just for fun back in 2010. So if you go on my blog and you see a lot of my work in 2010, I put little to no effort and it's amazing how many people follow me. Again, I put out the content that I put back I put out in 2010 was crappy. You know, I'd had a regular camera. I would take pictures in the dark. I would take pictures in my house. The lighting sucked. You couldn't really see the details of my outfit, but I just really wanted to go on my blog and express myself and you know, I wanted an outlet where I can show people my sense of style because they're definitely I've seen so many bloggers um, average size bloggers, but I felt like there wasn't a lot of representations of plus size bloggers. Um, I can't Now, in 2013, it's a little different. I do take my blog very seriously. I do like to put great content. I do like to update my blog regularly, and um, that is very important. So if you're gonna start a blog, you have to, first of all, you have to create a really fun username. My username on my blog is on theqtrain.com. I love that name. I've had that name since 2007. Um, way before blogging and I love the trains. I have this obsession with trains. I don't know what it is. I love the trains and I used to take the Q train every single day to college. So that was a train that I saw my inspiration. That was a train that I would reflect on my life, listen to great music, meet new people, um, study, sleep, eat, all that great stuff on the train. So that is a name that I really love. So that is my name. So definitely create a name that's going to, um, you know, show off your personality and your sense of style that you're going to have a fashion blog. Also, the one thing that you have to do when you start a blog, you have to be consistent. You cannot update your blog like once a month. No one's going to check check for you if you're going to update your blog once a month. You're going to have to update when you first begin your blog regularly. I would say twice a week. They, that may seem a lot, but when you're first starting a blog, you need to put out regular content. So twice a week, you want to put out some you know, photos on your blog, you want to update regularly. Also another great tip that I did not have back in 2009, and I recently just got it, you have to have a lot of uh, uh, networks, like you have to have social networks like Facebook, you have to have social networks like Twitter, I don't have a Twitter. I'm sorry, I don't have a Twitter. You have to have Instagram. You have to have all these different outlets because your blog is not gonna grow if you're not on social media. There's no way it's gonna grow. People are not gonna find out who you are if you're just blogging. You have to network. You have to have other social media outlets. So definitely, I agree with that. Please, if you're starting a blog, please get a Facebook page, get a Twitter account, get an Instagram, get a Tumblr, get a YouTube, get everything. Everything you can think of because you want people to, to see your face, 
you want to just advertise yourself because you are your brand so you want to advertise yourself like crazy so people can know who you are and say oh my god this is this new girl she's really dope I've seen her all over that's what you want to hear you have to also if you're if you have a blog you have to also um, network with other bloggers you can't just sit back and have a blog and not comment anybody's blog not visit anybody's blog no one's gonna find out who you are if you're sitting back on your blog spot and not you know networking I'm sorry if I'm talking like this but I'm telling you guys it's the truth if you guys want to be successful you're gonna have to put in the work so you're gonna have to you know mingle with other bloggers you're gonna have to network now not every blog is gonna be nice okay trust me when I first began blogging a lot of bloggers were really not that nice but you want to be nice. You want to, you know, introduce yourself. Don't flood their their comment section with, okay, please follow my blog. That is annoying. But you can, you know, hit them up and tell them, you know, check out my blog. And, you know, regular comment. Don't just, you know, hit up their blogs just for them to follow you back. I know people are doing that to me. I don't really like that. I like when people are really genuine. They really follow me because they're interested in my style, interested um, in my content. So you definitely want to do that. Um, another great thing I have to say is don't stress yourself out. Just do it. Don't don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about other uh, bloggers. That is not going to help you. That's also that's just going to stress you out, and you don't want to do that. You want to just worry about yourself. You want to worry about um, perfecting your craft. Because to me, my blog is my baby, and I can't worry about other people. I worry about myself. Don't stress yourself out buying a whole bunch of clothes just to put it on. No. Don't do that. You're going to spend all this money and you're going to be broke and it doesn't make any sense. So you want to, you know, create a style that people can identify you with. And also, you want to be responsible. You don't want to spend all this money on clothes just to, you know, keep up with the Joneses. It's not going to work like that. So these are some tips um, for my ladies. My camera's about to die, but I feel like you guys are constantly asking me these questions. I really want to help you guys. So thumbs up if you want more videos like this. Um, I know it would be very helpful. I didn't get this um, feedback when I started my blog. No one really helped me. No one encouraged me. No one, um, you know, told me what to do. I kind of just figured it out. I Googled. I um, observed a lot of people and I learned to just do me and that's what you have to do so ladies if you have not follow my blog follow my blog also subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram because I update regularly and also like my Facebook page all right so all those social media that I'm telling you guys that I'm on you should be on that on there as well okay <laughs> all right ladies peace